Hey, this is the uh, third little video in a row working on, sorry from the word imagine. Um, in the first video, we showed you how to make use of the elements gallery. The second video, we looked a little bit in the ideas probe. This video, I'm going to go further into the ideas probe, and we're also going to use it to show you more about how this log works. And to, to work with a log, you're going to want to have a little bit of a, you often want to have a bigger pile of words. So let's go back to the ideas probe. And we know where you're looking at the word uh, image as a basic target word. And we looked for a family built on the, uh, that base. We came with these five words, four of which made sense, one which didn't. And now I want to, we showed how, if we click that button, we get a larger group of words. So what I'm going to do is set this off a little bit to the side so that I can see it. And I'm going to look through here to think of words that I can build on uh, this base. Now let's take, I'm just going to take a couple of big ones. Let's take uh, imaginatively, there's a nice big long word. And what I can do is I start with imagine and I'm going to right click here because I need to add some cells after. And after that, if I look at imaginatively, um, I'm going to need an A-T-E suffix. And then I'm going to need another cell after. And so I did the right click there to get that extra cell. And now I have I-V-E replacing the E again. And then finally we see we have the L-Y suffix. So again, I got to do a right click, cell after, and L-Y. Okay, now I click this. And now I'm going to get my ideas probe out of the way even further. And now I have to type the result, uh, like doing it all out loud. I M A G no E I N no E A T no E I V E L Y, because that's a consonant suffix, so it doesn't replace. So there's my big word seems to work, and I add it, boom. And you see my matrix grows. You see my elements have grown as well. Let's take a look here and see if we can find a good one with a prefix. So let's say unimaginably. Let's go for that one. So I see here, now of course I could copy this text, put it in a document, print it and work from that. For the moment I'm just gonna go this way. So I wanna, I need a prefix here, which is of course UN, label that as a prefix. And now I need unimaginably. So I look at that and I have a question. Is it an ABL, it could be an ABLY suffix, maybe it's an ABLE plus a Y suffix. Another chance to go back to Scopo uh, here and see, notice it's suggesting there's two suffixes here, A, B, L, E, and, and there's a Y suffix as well. But since I have this one here for the now, I'm going to work on the uh, hypothesis that A, B, L, Y is a suffix, in which case that's all I need. And then I can go U, N, I, M, A, G, no E, A, B, L, Y, post that, and my mate now my matrix grows now if there's questions here that i could investigate further later i need to still prove that i and e is a suffix from some other words these suffixes cause people a lot of uh questions which is one reason i wanted to use it i've never been able to analyze this to uh anything smaller so that's what i'm sticking with and unless i had a reason to know this an able plus y i'm going to stick with a b l y now we've got a you know fairly good sized matrix here of course there's many more words we could build but what I wanted to show you is how this log works. So if I go to the log view, now I get my matrix and I get all of these uh, views of, of my work. Now what I want to show you is that I get to choose how much I do. The, the word family was not chosen, but I see I can, I, can I can have that or I can take it back out and I might decide that I don't need to have the working base and the specimen. I can just go for, I can choose whatever I want. And of course I can preview it and see what I'm gonna get if I print. And this is something that you could, you know, of course teachers could sign and print off what you like. Um, but I'm gonna close that. But the point is you get to choose what, it, what you want or you can just go ahead and have everything. And what I like about this so much is that I get this real scientific log showing all of the elements that I've used. And, you know, imagine in a class you're gonna, you could assemble a large class morpheme chart drawing from 
many students' investigations, of course, proving that these really do hold up. But anyways, I think that that's a nice, useful thing. And of course, we can always go back to the working view and add other word sums here. Um, I haven't even done a simple one like imagined. So I can go I and E, uh, suffix, and add one more. Add ED, suffix, spell it out. I am A G, no E I N, no E E D, post it. And of course, now it's updated uh, my matrix and my log is updated as well. So you, is, there's no, just because I'm here doesn't mean I'm done. But if I file and save it like this, I can come back at any time and work between the recording of my work and the working space. So hopefully, hopefully you find that useful.